This is probably the most on-brand video I will ever film. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Sarah and I make YouTube videos about The Sims. So today we are back with another Every Room is a Different Blank Challenge. Today we are doing Every Room is a Different National Park and I am literally so excited for this challenge. My friend Gabby commented on one of my last videos suggesting that I do this challenge and said it would be the most me challenge ever and I literally completely agree. Um, if you don't know a lot about me, I love anything outdoorsy, which includes national parks. Um, I'm on a mission to go to all the national parks in the United States. I haven't been to too many yet, but um, I spent a month in Yellowstone studying for school. I majored in environmental studies. Like anything outdoorsy is me. I love national parks. So this challenge is very me. Um, so let's just jump into the video. Okay, so I have a shell here. It's literally so ugly, but I spent so, I spent way too much time trying to figure out a shell for this. So we're just going with this, okay? So we obviously have the outside. Um, the way I'm dividing this up, we're going to do the outside of the house, um, the front porch yard area, the backyard area. Then inside we have a bathroom, a living area, a dining area, and a kitchen. And then upstairs we have a bathroom, a bedroom, a bedroom, a master bedroom, and a master bath. And we'll do this hallway, I think. I counted, I think that's 13. And I have 13 national parks to choose from. So let's get our first one for the outside of the house. Okay, so I have a wheel with a bunch of different national parks on it. I have the nine that I've been to, and then I added some other like iconic ones that I haven't been able to get to yet but I feel like they'd be good in this challenge. So let's spin to get a park for the outside of the house. Oh, Yellowstone, oh my God. <laughs> Wait, I wanted Yellowstone for the backyard so I could make like a crazy pool to be like a hot spring, but that's okay, that's okay. Let me show you some pictures of Yellowstone first. Okay, so this is one of the most iconic things in Yellowstone National Park. It's called Grand Prismatic Spring. It's a hot spring and different bacteria make it all these crazy different colors and I love it. Um, then there's also the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. Um, when you're there, you can actually see it's more like yellow than like the reddish brown. And then we have Old Faithful, which is like literally the most iconic thing in Yellowstone. Um, it's a geyser that goes off, you know, pretty reliably, which is why it's called Old Faithful. And this, I think we can model like the outside of the house like this. We can do a lot of stone. This is called the Roosevelt Arch. It's in the north entrance of the park. This quote, benefit and enjoyment of the people is part of the legislation that created Yellowstone National Park. I promise I won't talk about all the parks this much, Yellowstone is just like my favorite. It's the one I know the most about. <laughs> okay, so we let's just jump into the game now. <laughs> okay, like I said, I think we should do like some a kind of like rocky outside similar to the Roosevelt Arch. But my idea, like I know it looks a little weird to have, you know, stones on the entire outside, but my idea is that we do this and then um, do a bunch of like colorful windows to be like the colors of Grand Prismatic Spring, you know? And you know what? I never use white roofing, so maybe we'll do that to kind of be like the steam and the like hot water that comes out of the, the geysers and the hot springs. Maybe we'll do that. Are all the windows going to match? I'm not sure. <laughs> But I'm gonna try and get the most colorful variety to represent Grand Prismatic Spring. Would it be too crazy if we did the rainbow door? Like because Grand Prismatic is like literally all these colors? Maybe we'll do that. That actually kind of looks looks okay from the outside. Okay, so I've got yellow, pink, blue, red, gold, green. I need something orange. What, like literally what could be orange? <laughs> oh, we could put something like this downstairs. I feel like we need more green because like obviously there's a lot of trees and stuff. <gasps> Maybe this will be like our back door. I like that a lot. Ooh, and like the white on the sides can be like the snow caps of the mountains. Wait, also I didn't realize that like this, the house is like basically a mountain itself, you know, like the, the rockiness and then the white roof can be also represent the snow on top of the mountains. Wait, my brain is huge. I wish I could put a little like geyser or something in the front of the house, but technically those, those would be classified in the front or back of the house, front or backyard. Okay, so here's the outside of the house inspired by Yellowstone. Um, the big inspiration was Grand Prismatic Spring, which is why we have all the colorful windows. <laughs> also the green representing like the forests and of course how I just explained the stone outside and the white roof. Okay, let's go inside and let's do our entrance way now. Okay, so I just took out Yellowstone. Let's get something for the entrance way. Do 
Joshua Tree, okay, okay. So I've actually never been to Joshua Tree, but it's one that I want to go to so, so bad. And it's like deserty, has a lot of green, beigey tones. So I think we'll try and do that for our entranceway. So let's see what we can do. Also, I just realized based on the number of parks that I put in, we have to do entranceway and living room together. So this will be our entranceway and living room. So I think for walls, we should go with something like beigey and also like rocks-y. Perhaps we should do sand flooring for, um, you know, it's desert-y. Let's see what kind of like green couches we have to be like, you know, the trees. I really like this one because it has like the brown to be like the bark of the tree and then the green also to be like the other part of the tree. <laughs> I really like this eco lifestyle rug. Maybe we can use that. Unfortunately, we don't have something like super representative of a Joshua tree in the game, but we do have these little palm trees. I'm gonna try and fit these in here. Ooh, that's very fun. Obviously need our shoe racks. They don't really uh, correlate with any kind of national park though. I should have put Saguaro National Park on here because this is literally a Saguaro cactus. Let's put the outdoor retreat guitar in here because like outdoors, you know? I'm trying to think what kind of like artwork would fit best in this room. Ooh. Maybe that. That like is the same kind of rocks. Yeah, that one's cool. This room still feels really blank, but I don't know what else to put. So I might just call it here. This is the entranceway slash living area. Um, I think let's move over here to the bathroom. All right, let's get a park for the bathroom. Oh, oh. Ooh, Dry Tortugas. So Dry Tortugas is a national park um, off of Key West in Florida. Um, it's literally, you can see it's just like literally in the middle of the water. Um, it used to be a military fort, Fort Jefferson. I've been here once. Um, it's very fun to snorkel at. It has really good snorkeling. Yeah, so I think maybe we'll go like sort of like fort inspired, but also ocean inspired, turtle inspired. So obviously the bathroom is pretty small, so we can't do like a ton of things, but um, maybe let's get some blue floor to represent the water. I think this tile is like pretty pretty similar to like the light blue bright colored water with that like marbling too. I like that. Maybe let's go with like some brick walls to represent the fort. It's a little strange but I like it. Maybe we'll go with this. I know this is like more medieval style but like it looks like a, a door that could possibly be on a fort. I think we should put these floor decals of turtles all around. I think that really um hammers home the turtle aspect of this and maybe let's just go with like blue and green for the rest of the for the rest of the things in the bathroom Ooh, this one that's like the very like tealy blue color of the water i think that that looks good same with this mirror beautiful i love the weathered look of this medicine cabinet i think it i think since oh my god it's perfect since it's an old fort and like it's obviously a little weathered a little beaten down i think that's perfect for this room wait is this a turtle rug? Oh my gosh. This is going in front of the sink. I don't care that it kind of is covered up by the other decals. I, that's very cute. And I'm keeping the fish rug, even though I realize the fish is dead because it's like cats like fish and uh, we're gonna ignore it. Anyway, I think this is our our Dry Tortugas National Park inspired bathroom. Oh my god, wait, we forgot toilet paper. Let's go over here to the dining room and see what park we get for that. What are we gonna get? Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Grand Canyon. Oh my goodness. So the Grand Canyon is pretty iconic, at least in the United States. Um, it's uh, this huge, huge canyon of like red rocks, red orangey rocks and the Colorado River that runs through it. Um, it's just really, really pretty. I have unfortunately never been there, um, but obviously, like I said, I want to go to every national park, so of course it's on my list. Um, so let's do like a reddy, orangey inspired kind of look with maybe like a strip of blue flooring. Wait, my mind. So I'm thinking we do like sort of a red, orangey kind of hardwood and then have have some blue run through it also. Wait, I love it. Do you guys love it? I love it. I think it makes so much sense. So then for the walls, I guess we should do like a little bit of a little bit of red and a little bit of orange. I know it's very much not like half and half, but there is red and there is orange. Um, so maybe we'll just go with this. And maybe let's go with like a huge glass table because the Grand Canyon has like that glass walkout observatory space where like it's glass on the bottom. Ooh, wait, my mind. I think we're just gonna go with these basic dining chairs because I don't know what else to do. What if we also put a desk in here like just, just for fun? And we can do like a green chair 
because like there is there are a few plants maybe this will be skill building and we'll also have a, an easel i love that now i'm very much like not sure what kind of like plants to put in here so i might be taking some liberties with that this picture looks a lot like the grand canyon so let's put one of those in there i'm very excited for this let's get some of these plants in there i imagine these grow alongside the river yeah very naturey very fun right i also don't know what kind of centerpiece we should go with but maybe we'll go with this one since it's orange <laughs> and is the same kind of color of the rocks right okay how's this for the grand canyon inspired <laughs> dining room how do we feel how do we feel please positive thoughts only okay cool okay cool let's let's move on to the kitchen oh oh yosemite oh my goodness okay okay so yosemite is another one that i've never been to but it is arguably one of the most famous national parks in the u.s for its like incredible incredible rock structures like these massive mountains of like granite and whatnot it's really just it's really just gorgeous has a few waterfalls oh maybe we can do a strip of strip of blue walls to represent a waterfall so these are just some pictures of the park and let's go figure out how we're gonna make a kitchen inspired by this so i think again we should go with sort of a rocky um a rocky wall type and then like i said maybe we should do a strip of like blue paint to represent a waterfall yeah okay it works those are the waterfalls i think we should use the parenthood countertops because i think they're kind of like granite countertops perhaps perhaps obviously like i said you gotta take some liberties you can't make it look exactly like that though like maybe as an homage to the mountains and all the rocks we can um put some put some up here just some just like our casual rocks that you just you know that you have sometimes on your countertop they make really weird shadows so it's a little bit ugly but it's, you know, it's all for the vibe. It's all for the vibe. Just sometimes you have a pile of rocks in your kitchen and like, what about it? And what about it? I just had a crazy idea and it's what if we put the rock climbing wall in here because like rock climbing is a big thing to do in Yosemite. But I have to hold back from that. It, it, that can't, we, can't, we can't be doing that, right? We can't be doing that. We need a taller wall height. It just, it wouldn't work out, right? You know, hear me out. There are some bears in Yosemite. We could put a Blarfy in here. And over here, we're gonna do a little homage to, to all the trees in the park by uh, sizing down a bunch of trees. Okay, I think that looks great. I think just, you know, line them up. Looks great, looks great. Um, Fair warning, your sims probably will not get back here. Probably not something they're gonna do. Could we go with some like blue curtains? Oh my gosh, yeah. To make it be like, that's the water flowing down the waterfall. Let's just go with the gravel flooring to be like, kind of like the trails, I guess. So I know this is very much like not detailed or, you know, good in any way but um this is our yosemite inspired <laughs> kitchen with our granite countertops our our rocky area our waterfall windows i think it's beautiful our little homage to all the trees and a blarfy to be like the bears you know so let's go upstairs and do the hallway i guess oh 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 Grand Teton, yeet yeet. This is probably like one of my favorite national parks. So Grand Teton is like literally the most gorgeous park in the entire world. Like it's literally, oh, it's just so gorgeous. Um, It's in Wyoming near Jackson. I've been on like two different trips here. I went once when I was studying in Yellowstone and then I went once, you know, like on a vacation with my family. So I've been in the park a few different times. It has, you know, the most beautiful Teton mountain range, like literally just gorgeous, um, gorgeous lakes and trees. And it has some bison. I just love it so much. If you can't tell, I love this park so much. It's it's the most gorgeous thing in the world and if you haven't seen it i strongly recommend if you're able at some point maybe when there's not a global pandemic but at some point you should go see the tetons because they're gorgeous okay so let's jump back in to our build and do the hallway inspired by grand teton okay so again same kind of thing i think we should do like a rocky inside um maybe we'll put like oh don't they have don't we have like those snowflake lights we could put those around the top yes we can do these to represent like the snow at the top of the mountains okay literally beautiful gorgeous um maybe let's do some grass flooring you know for a change because there's a lot of like beautiful like greenery in the park too maybe let's just go with like the white season store you know to be like the white snow on the mountains too i kind of like that i mean what else are we gonna put up here like maybe maybe a little like hallway table area let's put the ranger plushie on the hallway table because it's like pretty cute and like i mean all the national parks have park rangers but like i feel like it really fits with the grand teton one like i said there's also like gorgeous lakes so i don't know how we're gonna like what kind of like water feature can we do you know what this one is pretty accurate this picture 
you know, the mountains with that little lake. I like that. We could do something like this. I feel like that's the best we're gonna get in terms of like a water feature kind of rug thing maybe. Okay, so I love that. I think that's it. I think that's that's what we're gonna have to go with. <laughs> This is our hallway inspired by Grand Teton National Park. Okay, so this is like the first bedroom. Let's see um, what park we get for this. Ooh, ooh, Virgin Islands National Park. Okay. So Virgin Islands National Park is on St. John of the US Virgin Islands. I went last year, it's so gorgeous. Um, just like white sand beaches, um, very tropical, a lot of great snorkeling. Um, I saw a turtle, a ray, an octopus. I actually I actually have a video of my trip there. Um, it was before I started making Sims YouTube videos. I think it's the last one before my first Sims video. So definitely check that out. Oh my god, yeah, check that out. <laughs> and there's a lot of like these old like stone um, sugar mill ruins, I think. Um, so we could again do a stone kind of wall, at least at some point. But yeah, it's just really pretty. Um, let's, let's do our bedroom inspired by this. So obviously this isn't a huge room. I think we should do like two walls stone and two walls um two walls like light blue because the sky is just like beautiful and light blue right yes <laughs> perfect um as for the floor let's go with sand should we go with sand floor again like i'm just saying should we go with sandy floor i think we should there's no other way to do it as for furniture like we could just go with like uh island living i mean it's it's pretty standard i moved the door over so maybe we can get a little desk area probably so island living is more inspired by like pacific islands but it is still very like tropical in theme so but, but also this like palm tree is way too big. Let's put this hibiscus tree in here. Great idea. What if we just put a beach towel in the room? You know, if you want to just like lay out in the sun. Here's like a coral reef painting that, that, that fits pretty well. So we don't have a dresser, but I come to you and I ask, how much do we need a dresser, you know? You know? Let's put the sun on the wall too so that like you can bask in the sun, right? Oh, we should put some sunscreen, get some sunscreen in here. So true. Okay, so I think that's our Virgin Islands National Park bedroom. Uh, let's do the bathroom that's connected to this now. Ooh, ooh. Okay, so keeping with the tropical theme, Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. So Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, it's kind of self-explanatory, it is um, volcanoes in Hawaii. I've been to Hawaii a few different times and it's just such a beautiful place. I've been to this national park twice. Um, well, actually, no, I've been to this national park once. I've been in the park once and then I've viewed lava in the national park from, from a boat once. So as you can see, let, we're gonna, we're just gonna do lots of lava rocks, obviously very island living inspired again. And it's a very cool national park. And there's also, you know, like just some, some, some random plants around as well. So let's do our bathroom inspired by this. So here's where island living just really comes in, comes into play. Um, the lava, the lava rock flooring. How about we go with like orange stuff to be like the lava, you know? Apparently we don't have like a solid orange um, toilet, but I think we should go with this one since there, I guess there is water around and it's orange. So yes, let's put our island living shower because it has, it has like the kind of lava rock bottom as well and it's orange. We really need to step it up in terms of like orange things. Let's go with this island living counter. And then we have this like orange copper toned sink and then an orange mirror, of course. And some, oh, some orange towels. Those ones are good. Let's let's see, what can we do that's red? Cause love is also red. Maybe a red hand towel. Okay, I think this is the best we're gonna do, right? Oh, also the window's blue to kind of be like the water that surrounds the park too. I love it. I love it. I think it's great. I think it's very much like there's the lava rock and then there's the lava. I think it's great. Um, let's move on to this other bedroom I have over here. Ooh, ooh, we got Arches National Park. This is another one I've never been to, but it's really cool. So Arches is all about like these natural red rock, rock formations that it's like a lot of different kind of like arch formations, obviously. Um, and it's just very cool. A lot of red rock and then a, a little bit of greenery as well. Um, it's in Utah. It's very cool. I really, really, really want to go. So let's do our bedroom inspired by this. For flooring, I'm not sure. Do we want to do like an orangey red kind of flooring? So let's go with this flooring. I think it, I think it makes sense. It's very like orangey red exactly what we're going for as for walls hmm that one looks good like it's also very rocky hear me out what if we did an archway like that also into the room <laughs> it looks really dumb with the door but i like it <laughs> it is an arch and it's arches national park Ooh, 
the seasons bed though that one's also our color scheme like we could do like a tiny dresser like that there we go we got some greenery wait we could use the batuan plant we could use the new star wars plant we could just put it right there there we go found a use for the star wars pack outside of star wars Boom. We should totally go with this as our painting because that is like pretty much the red rock formations I was just talking about. Um, you know what? I'm putting another one of these Star Wars plants in. So then when people are like, did you find a use for the pack outside of Star Wars? I'll be like, yes, I did. And I just threw an extra arch in for fun. I think it makes this room completely not functional. But are you really gonna go play in this house? Let me know if you really would. Um, but I will be uploading it to the gallery like this. So you can just delete this if you don't, if you don't want it. But there we go. There's our Arches National Park inspired bedroom. Let's do our master bath. I want to save the master bedroom to be like one of the last things we do. Okay, so we're either going to get Badlands, Cuyahoga Valley, Haleakala, or Everglades. Let's see what we get. Ooh, 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 ooh. Badlands, looks like it's Badlands. So Badlands is in South Dakota. I've been to this national park once, um, not for very long. I went like an evening one night when I was passing through South Dakota and it's it's honestly so cool. Like it, it's all these super cool, like very beige rock formations. Um, but like, it's mind blowing to, to see to see this in real life. Obviously there's like some grassy areas as, as well. There's also a lot of prairie dogs. I saw a lot of prairie dogs and they're so freaking cute. Maybe we'll do it like all beige, but with a grass flooring. I feel like, can we agree on that? Can we agree on that? I think that sounds good. What we have, we can do these light brown tiles. You know, that's very bathroomy to have tiles, right? Let's do like a, a kind of bathtub like this maybe. Maybe this sink seems seems good. This is the this shower is probably the closest we're gonna get to like a light brown shower. I think we have to go with these towels again, even though they have the seashells on them, and like the seashell obviously isn't the vibe. Um, but that's because they're light brown, you know. Put a little beige rug in front of the in front of the sink. A little bath mat type thing. Looking great. Looking great. Okay, I think this is our Badlands National Park inspired bathroom. All right, let's see what we get for the master bedroom. Ooh. Ooh, the Everglades, fun. Everglades National Park is in Florida. Um, it's like a wetland area with a lot of water and a lot of greenery and a few crocodiles perhaps. Um, I've been there once. It was cool. It was a cool place. So let's go model our master bedroom after this. Okay, so I think we should do like a blue flooring with like green rugs. Um, to be the sort of like wetland area. I think that would be a good idea. And let's literally just place these rugs a bunch of different places. I think this might be a good look for the bed since it's like a little, a little green, a little brown, very tree-like perhaps. Maybe we can do sort of a dresser area like this. And then I think we should do some kind of desk probably. Okay, love that desk area. Love that desk area. Okay, I think this room is awesome. I think the, I think it's very wetland inspired. I think there's a lot of greenery. Unfortunately, I don't really have anything like crocodile like I don't think to put in there, but that's okay. Um, Let's do our front porch now. Second to last. Okay, let's see. I mean, this is gonna decide our last two, isn't it? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Cuyahoga Valley. So Cuyahoga Valley National Park is in Ohio. It's the closest national park to me. I've been there once. It's also, it's like a very popular fall destination. As you can see, like the fall foliage is just like beautiful. Um, There's also, you know, like water, water features. So I think the main thing I'm gonna grab inspiration from is the like fall foliage. Cause it's just like a big feature of what makes this park so special. So let's go do our front porch. Do we have like trees that are in their fall foliage state though? Let's do these. I mean, these are like the closest things we, we get, I guess. So we're gonna go with that. And then I guess I'll just do kind of just like your regular standard landscaping for everything else. I'm gonna put these tree trunk things out, out here because like it has trees and those are tree trunks. Yes. I mean, there you go. There's your front of the house very orange red yellow fall colors we like some fall colors so the backyard we got haleakala national park for the backyard and haleakala national park is in hawaii i have been here twice i think um but it's this old volcano and it has a huge crater in the middle um and it's very similar to what people, you know, assume the surface of Mars is probably like, or, you know, what we know the surface of Mars is like. There's a lot of hiking to be done. Um, the, going to see the sunrise is one of the big things to do. And it's just, 
it's it's cool it's cool but the main thing that i'm going for is that it's you know an old volcano therefore it's like a mountain with a crater inside and okay hear me out i don't do this a lot but let's do some terrain manipulation okay actually so it's the next day um i don't know if, if, I, if I look any different at all i put on the same shirt i had originally like done terrain man manipulation and like tried to make it look like haleakala but it doesn't feel it doesn't feel good it doesn't feel like right or respectful or like correct or and, and it also looks it looks bad when i try and do it so we're not doing terrain manipulation Manipulation. So I'm gonna like I've done this. I've done this. What I've done is I've done some island living seating area, some island living plants. Um, there's also a bike because like biking on Haleakala is a is a thing. And then I think I'm just gonna do like a, a nice pool area with some island living plants surrounding it to be sort of Hawaii. I feel like it's not it's not cool to try and like replicate the mountain. It it because I do it poorly because I do it poorly. Um, I don't I couldn't do it in a correct way. So I'm just gonna make like a little nice like backyard pool area. And I think that's I think that's what we're gonna go with. We'll do the island living pool floats. I mean, they came with island living. They're not very much like actually representative of the national park or Hawaiian culture, but ooh, I kind of like this this look with these purple flowers covering up the edge of the pool. I think that's it's kind of cool. And we'll put some palm trees. They're quite tall. They are quite tall. Ooh, should we put a big one over the pool? No, I don't I don't know if I like that. And we can do like a little outdoor seating area. That would be kind of fun. It's a little close to the pool. If if you if you lean back in your chair, you might fall into the pool, but what are you gonna do? And let's do a little outdoor shower area. That's kind of fun, right? I love an outdoor shower area. Okay, so this is our backyard inspired by Haleakala National Park. So so I just kind of went with the overall Hawaiian Pacific tropical theme. So here is our house, all done. The front porch area inspired by Cuyahoga Valley National Park. The outside inspired by Yellowstone, hence our colorful windows to be like Grand Prismatic Spring. And the white top to be like the stones, like the rocks and the mountains with the snowy tops. I love that. Walk into our Joshua Tree inspired living area and entranceway. Sure, it's a little bare, but like, what am I going to do? Then my personal favorite, the Dry Tortugas National Park inspired bathroom. I love it so much. Then our Grand Canyon inspired dining room with, with the river, river running through. And over here to our Yosemite inspired kitchen. I literally love it so much with the blarfy and our just our tiny trees, our tiny trees. Go up to our hallway inspired by Grand Teton National Park. I like that. And then our Virgin Islands National Park inspired uh, bedroom. Very nice. Not too much in it, but I still like it. And then our Hawaii Volcanoes inspired National Park bathroom. Mainly just, you know, what the, the molten lava looks like, the orange, and then the dried hardened lava is the grayish blackish um hardened rock to represent that and then our arches national park bedroom with an arch in the middle because why not because why not and then a lot of the reds and orange to represent the red rocks and then our badlands national park very beige um inspired bathroom i like it a lot and then our everglades which is supposed to be like a wetland you know the, the blue floor and then the little patches of green last but not least like i just showed our haleakala inspired um, National Park backyard. I really, really like how this house turned out. I think it's, I think it's so cool. So that's the video. That's the build. I hope you guys enjoyed. The last thing I want to say is that all national parks are stolen land and the concept of a wilderness was invented by white colonizers. Um, but yeah, if you are privileged enough to be able to visit national parks, always be respectful of local cultures, local people, and local customs. And of course, respectful to the environment as a whole. Um, these are our public lands and we need to do as much as we can to protect them and honor the people whose lands they rightfully are. Um, and yeah, so like this video if you like it and subscribe. Those both really help me out. Um, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Give me more video suggestions. Comment down below. You know all the fun stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in my next video. Bye!